at the Slessy Creek property, we are up McFarland Creek. Nice, beautiful area here. Waterfall. We had to traverse up three waterfalls to come up here. But this one is uh, pretty difficult to get out of. We have to go back down and go all the way around. What I wanted to show here is this. You can see along the whole base here, you have oxidation. And as you can see, you have quartz running all along here. It looks like it may run all the way around to the other side of the waterfall. We will see, we're gonna sample this. Looks to vary in size, averaging about 10 centimeters. Bit of malachite staining there. So we got a sample from right around where that rusty water's leaking out. We got another sample here, and that's from right in there. And we're going to get a third sample from up above there. There's quartz all along here. And as you can see, you have very fine disseminated sulfides on the outside. So looking at this closer, you actually have quartz exposed in the bottom there. That's 30 centimeters wide of quartz. And all this up here has quartz cutting through it. Quartz stringers. And that looks to be to about this point here. So this is a meter and a half in width. This is fairly horizontal. It looks like a shear zone with quartz. Lots of nice looking samples here. There is some sulfides in here. As you can see here, the farther up I go, the wider the shear zone gets. You can see the clearly defined contact right along there. And this is a good two meters from the base over there. So it's not all quartz, but there's sulfides. The bulk of the quartz, from what I'm seeing, the main vein is down at the bottom and this is all stringers of quartz cutting through this. So far we have three samples. We're gonna go for one more if we can get up there. We got our first sample from over there. Our second sample from over here. Our third sample from up here. 
and our fourth sample we got from up there. And this entire length going all the way up to where we can reach to is 60 meters long. And this shear zone with quartz is down here at the lowest point about 35 centimeters and the greatest width is around here at about two meters and then it's a little bit smaller up at the top likely continuous underneath here but I just don't want to get wet and fall down in the water. You can see there's quartz down here too cutting through the side and you have quartz down in here. So I'm going to get a strike and a dip of this. Those are our four samples over here. That's number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. So what it looks like is you have a mix of argillites in here along with clastic sedimentary rocks over top. But it's also interwoven in your shear zone. We got four samples. That's it. We can't really get up any farther right now unless we go all the way down and hike back up on the outside. So that's it for this area. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.